My name is Lynn. I'm currently studying English and philosophy here at Durham University and I'm from Sweden, so that makes me an international student. One of my particular research interests in philosophy is lies in value theory and especially in how that kind of bridges between this methodical higher level stuff and more applied ethics things because I feel like in a lot of philosophy we do we talk about value but we never stop and really think about what is value and what do we mean by value statements and I think that's also very applicable to things outside of philosophy as well because I think just everyday statements we say like oh I really value you as a friend or I really value being here at university but what do we actually mean when we say statements like that I find that that's something that philosophy has really helped me kind of decode and I think that's that's really interesting to me. So I'm actually going to go into finance, which is a surprise to a lot of people considering I've studied philosophy. I think philosophy has so many transferable skills. I like to almost label philosophy as not a subject you're studying, but rather studying the art of learning. So philosophy teaches you really how to think and how to structure your arguments and how to divide them into premises and really have something that, that makes sense. So your thoughts might not make sense to you initially, but really just how to structure and argue. And I believe that that's really applicable across any industry. So when I did my internship last summer in finance, I found that the skills that I learned in philosophy really helped me learn finance because I knew kind of how to approach it. I knew where my weaknesses might have been in my learning style. And I thought that was really, really helpful. So I think uh, bringing in philosophy into the world of finance might seem like a rather strange mix. But since philosophy, as I kind of mentioned before, is a little bit of like, a way of learning and a way of thinking, you get that kind of diversity of perspective that we might not have seen before. So a lot of people who go into finance are people who have studied finance and they've studied this kind of rather narrow curriculum, very focused on what they're actually gonna do in their job. Whilst well, coming from a philosophical background, it means I might not have the exact specific knowledge, but that you can always learn on a job. But instead what I do believe I have is that kind of way of approaching a question or an issue differently than what perhaps the people in finance would normally do. And when I was doing my internship this summer, I really found that I could approach things from a different perspective. So for instance, when we're doing presentations and a lot of people just kind of focus on the technical things, whilst I felt like because of the skills I've learned in philosophy that are very transferable, I could really approach it in a way that how can we answer bigger questions in banking? How can we perhaps bring in a more ethical perspective? And the, the role in banking I'm gonna mostly be doing is client focused. So it's looking at what my clients want. And a lot of what's going on in the banking world right now is ESG focused, environmentally focused. And that's something we're really looking at in philosophy right now. I'm doing an ethics course, for instance, where we're really bringing in these very heavy and important pressing topics. And banking, people in banking, and especially our clients, really do care about these topics. I feel like coming in from another perspective, that's been that's been really helpful and hopefully we can change the banking world slightly for the better in the future.